We have a continuation today and in the previous session, we were discussing the candlestick patterns. So this is a second discussion on the candlestick pattern analysis. So we'll have a quick recap on what we have discussed in the last session and then we will move on to the today's topic. So a quick recap, the candlestick, this is a normal candlestick. You call it a body and an upper wig and a lower wig. And this is a big black candle. Black here means a red candle and a white here means a green candle. So sometimes you're gonna see on some charts, you have an option, you can say red and green candle or white or black candle. Black is red and white is green. So this is a big black candle, big white candle, which is a positive sign here. And this is a red candle is always a negative sign, reversals. And then we discuss the most important topics, which are the dodgy candles. Dodgy is, uh, we'll get, uh, we'll have a wick, upper wick, lower wick, and there is no body here. The opening and closing prices are the same. So if this is the case, this means that market is indecisive. There can be a reversal in the market. To, so the market has not yet decided in which direction to move. And then within the dodgy, we had like different patterns. Number one pattern was a dra dragonfly dodgy, which had a lower wick and a no upper wick. And the inference here is there's a bottom side price reversal and the market has not accepted the lower price and it has went back to its original price from where it was opened and gave a closing price there. So when it appears at the bottom, it is considered as a reversal signal, means it's going at the bottom, this at uh, the bottom of the trend and the downside price rejection, it means there will be a reversal in the trend. And then gravestone dodgy is totally opposite to that. The upside price rejection, the price was not able to sustain the high levels and fell back again to the price at which it was opened at that day. And this is a reversal signal when it forms at the top of the trend, an uptrend. And then this is the same, this is actually the long legged dodgy. We long legged dodgy, the same is uh, the inference like a standard dodgy. The only difference is it has a long upper and a long lower wig. Still, it is an indecisive candle and it is considered as a reversal signal. Then we discuss, other than the dodgy, we discussed in the last session, the hanging man pattern. Hanging man has a rectangular body with a leg, of which is like two to three times of the body. And this is formed at the uptrend. And in the uptrend, the inference here is that this is a bearish pattern in an uptrend. The important point here is an uptrend. Then we discuss the hammer. The hammer is also similar in shape rectangular body and the wick, lower wick, which is like two to three times of the body. And the difference between these two were the like hanging man was formed in the uptrend and the hammer is formed in the downtrend. So when a hammer is formed in the downtrend, it is considered as a bullish pattern. And hanging man is formed in the uptrend and considered as a bearish pattern. So the differentiating factor is the trend. Uptrend, hanging man. Downtrend, hammer. In uptrend, this it will go down now. In hammer, it will go up the price will go up. Then we discuss the inverted hammer. Inverted hammer is similar to hammer in shape, just the opposite to that. So inverted hammer, the body is below and the wick is on the upside. And this is formed on the, normally formed at the bottom. And this is considered as a bottom reversal. So upside price rejection and the market may start going down from here. So uh, this one inverted bl black hammer or just the inverted hammer, the same things. It may be a red candle or it may be a white candle and then we're leaving these two okay so these were the two uh, the things that we discussed in our last session so any question guys here so far or we can move on to the today's topic any questions here i hope you most of you guys have uh, practiced this yeah we are following the pattern and applying what we learned from you okay uh, good so i'll Move on to the next. So the next today, uh, first thing is is the Marubuzu candle. So this is actually, uh, it can be a white candle or it can be a black candle, maybe a red or green, and it is it doesn't have any any wick here. So when this is the case, when you see a big candle, either green or red, which doesn't have any wick. So we call it as Marubuzu candle and this is considered as a continuation pattern. For example, there was a uptrend and you was looking at some green candles in that uptrend, past few candles are green and then you saw this candle without any wick and it's called as a Marubuzu candle. It means that this, is, this will be a continuation pattern 
or previous was a green pattern an uptrend pattern so the uptrend pattern will continue on the same side there was a downtrend and you were looking at some red candles and then you saw this another red candle here one was red candle so it would mean that this red trend will continue so this will give you a, an indication an idea how the price may look like in the coming sessions in the coming days so this is uh, one of the important pa uh, candlestick pattern to know the next here is a shooting star the shooting star looks similar to inverted hammer i'll go back to inverted hammer just have a look look this is an inverted hammer and now i'll take back to the shooting star shooting star is also the same it looks like the same don't go to this body the body shape may be like uh, 10 20 percent different the important thing is there is a higher upper wick no lower wick and the rectangular body and the wick is like at least two to three times of this rectangular body and this we call it a shooting star the reason behind why we are calling it a shooting star and not an inverted hammer the inverted hammer is normally formed at the bottom of the trend shooting star is formed in an uptrend similar to hanging man hanging man was formed in an uptrend so the shooting star is so this means that there is an upside price rejection and this will be a bearish pattern in an uptrend i will take you back to the hanging man hanging man what was the hanging man Look, this is the hanging man. Now we just reverse this hanging man. If you remember, hanging man was formed in the uptrend. So this shooting star is also in the uptrend. And shooting star is like the opposite to hanging man. So like we are talking here about four things. Hanging man in uptrend, shooting star in uptrend, hammer in the downtrend, and inverted hammer also in the downtrend. Just remember, hammers are in the downtrend and rest is in the uptrend. So uh, getting back to the shooting star, what does this imply? It means that there is an upside price rejection. The price was not able to sustain the higher levels and then it went back and closed little above the price from where it was open at that day. So this is uh, formed an uptrend and is considered as a bearish pattern. When you see there was some uptrend going on and then you saw this sort of candle form on the graph. So it would mean that the price may start going down after the formation of this candle now this candle you can look at a daily chart pattern you can look at an hourly chart pattern so after one hour you saw this candle form so next uh, in the next coming hours or next coming minutes you may see the price will start going down so it depends which uh, chart pattern you have chart uh, that you have chosen with which in which time frame daily time frame hourly time frame weekly time frame monthly whatever you choose the analysis remains the same so the shooting star is done now we'll move next to the spinning top we'll go back after discussing these few things we'll go back to the live charts and see how these candles look like in actual life because these uh, may not look similar 100 percent but it will be almost alike so next is the spinning top this uh, uh, this pattern we see like very often and this may be a red or this may be a green a rectangular body with a small lower wigs and in most of the canadian stocks you will see they don't move they just make a small high and a small low and then they close down so you will see these uh, patterns very often it can be green it can be red so we call this a spinning top and this is normally a neutral pattern so they doesn't uh, give you any much information but when they combine with some other patterns, they may give you some useful information. So the spinning top is a neutral pattern. White body is a bullish pattern. This has been discussed earlier as well. If we have a, uh, if we have a black body or red big body, that will be considered as a uh, bullish, uh, bearish pattern. So I think we uh, will discuss two more and we'll go back to the live charts to see these, these things. Shaven bottom is similar to the inverted hammer and same things apply the only thing here is the wick is not as long as the hammer and the shaven head is also is the same like a hammer so these two are not very common patterns the common patterns which we discussed are the spinning top shoot and the shooting star hammer hanging man and uh, hammer hanging man shooting star uh, and inverted hammer so let's go to um, to live charts and see if we can find out these candles here which one you want to go which was like let's go to tesla maybe tesla has got some good patterns 
I will hide these things you met the other one. Okay. So guys, let's find it together. I'm also looking at it just in front of you. So if you come across any of the candles, uh, like shooting star, do let me know. By the way, I'll show you one candle, this candle. Guys, can you identify the name of this candle? What is this? This one. I'll increase it. Yep, this one. Yep. 11 September. Anyone? Other than you, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, come on, that's unmute. That's, that's I'm giving quiet. <laughs> yeah, guys, unmute and participate. Guys, this is the best way to learn. Make mistakes yeah, and learn. No one want to say anything? Aditya, Aditya is silent today. Surprise. Oh, no, no, I, I, I'm, I'm on mute for a reason. <laughs> not that I'm not learning. No, no, yeah, yeah, of course, so, you, join, you join us like every week. Osama you know, you... said it's a hanging man. Osama, oh, free, free, free to speak. Osama, come on, uh, unmute and come on, join. Let's hear your voice. Join us. Yes, I'm still trying to understand this a bit, Tahir. So I'm just looking at this. Oh, okay. good enough. Yeah, uh, the, the more you practice, the more you learn. So it's a good chance for to have a two way communication like whatever we are discussing this is this information is not invented by me this information is of course there on the internet you can google it you can go on the youtube but that will be just a one way communication the distinct pattern here on our discussion is like we try to make it a two way communication i will tell you something and then if you have any confusion or you want to add something feel free to ask and then we will make it more interactive this is like the distinct thing that we have on our sessions. Otherwise, like the things that we are discussing that this is, we are not bringing it from our own. This is like always present on the, on the internet, on the books everywhere. So the more you participate, the more you learn. So let's get back here. So this was a dragonfly dodgy. And if we take this, this can be a long leg dodgy, although we don't have a lower, high, much lower leg here but this is an indices uh, as well. So here, when we see this uh, dragonfly doji, we said that this will be a downside price rejection. So market may go up. Market is not accepting this level, the market may go up. And the second day it made a high and this was indecisive, but still the market was continuing up here. So, and this is one of the candle. I will get back to you what sort of candle it is. Just give, bear with me for a few more minutes. So we discussed these few candles and this is like a big green body or big white body. And what pattern it is? Anyone? What sort of pattern it is? It is formed for C, uh, the trend. Uh, this is an uptrend, okay. And in the uptrend, if you see this, yeah, again, please. In Inverted hammer is at the bottom. Ah, okay. Yeah, hammers are always in the bottom trend. So this sort of pattern is an uptrend. So it can be either two things. It can be a shooting star or it can be hanging man. So it just reverse in shape. So it is a shooting star. Okay. And yeah, and implication of shooting star, what we read that it can be, it can be a reversal, but here we didn't see a reversal on the next day. So next day confirmations are always, always important. So this can be a trap. So this was your, this, this oh, by the way, it looks like similar to the shooting star. Uh, yeah, shooting star and there's a gravestone dodgy. Gravestone dodgy, the difference here is like it has a very small body. In the dodgy, we don't have any, any bottom wick, any, any body, I'll show you here. Uh, it bears a similar pattern to the dodgy. Yeah, this one, gravestone dodgy. Gravestone dodgy opening and closing price are virtually the same. Here, there is a difference in that, but because opening and closing are almost the same, not the same. So we are 
saying, okay, this can be a shooting star. But the thing is, market didn't came down, although there was upside price reduction, but the market went up. And then it was an indices for two further days and then you start right, going down later on. So next, whenever you analyze something using any indicator, next day confirmation is always very important. And of course, you will not rely on just one indicator. You will combine multiple indicators while formulating your strategy. And it may happen that one indicator is saying you go in X, other might be saying go in Y, then you go with the maximum of, all of the indicator signals. Okay, uh, let's see another one. Okay, yeah, this one. This one is a Marubuzu candle, which is a continuation pattern. It was an uptrend, okay, and then you saw this candle, and then again the same Marubuzu candle, so uptrend continued. So we saw this few of the candle, which are called Marubuzu candle, and this one was a spinning top, spinning top, spinning top, dodgy, standard dodgy, okay, and this is what is this, guys? This one, inverted yeah, hammer. not the inverted. That's a hammer. This is a downtrend, and that's that's a hammer. Downside price rejection, and then market. If you see this market next day, open at low, but it it made a high. It start, it tried to went up, and again it fell down. And this one is gravestone dodgy. Upside price rejection, and market started going down till here. So these are the few of the patterns that you must keep in your mind when you are formulating any buy strategy or a sell strategy. It will help you to make a trade, but 100% is like nothing. But these are the ideas, these are the, this is the information which will help you to predict the future, but 100% surety is always not guaranteed. That's why you combine it with some other strategies as well and then take your call. Uh, okay, so I'll move on to the next. So uh, these few dodgy things we saw, we saw the hammer, we didn't see the hanging man yet, but it will be the same only. The difference will be, it will be in the uptrend. Inverted hammer, we saw that. And then Marbozu, we looked at it. Shooting star, we looked at it. And spinning top, we saw that. White body, we saw that. Shaving bottoms are not important. So we'll go to the next. Uh, now, these, this was the end of the normal candlestick patterns. Now we are going to a little bit complex patterns. I will discuss few of those complex patterns and we'll go th then back again to the live chart and see how they look like in actual life and what does that mean. So the first uh, thing is uh, bearish harami candle. And uh, this one is how we characterize it. We will have a big white body big white candle or a big green candle and then it will be followed by a black candle which will be a smaller in size and the, 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 the this opening and closing of this red candle will be within the opening and the closing of this white candle or a green candle so this number one this will the, this will be a big candle this will be a small candle Opening and closing will be within the opening and closing of this green candle. So we call it bearish pattern, and it is uh, it is a bearish pattern in an uptrend. So there was an uptrend going on, and you saw this big green candle, and after that there was a small red candle form. So it can be considered as a bearish pattern in an uptrend. Seems that a bearish pattern has come to an end. Now you're gonna see the no, the, uh, now you're gonna see a reversal here. Uh, bearish pattern, uh, and then uh, if we go further here in in the doji, you will see the same pattern here, and it is considered a reversal signal when it is formed at the top, because the uh, the doji is always a reversal signal. Whenever you see a doji candle, it will be indecisive, and then it uh, the second point is you may see a reversal in the pattern whenever you see a doji. So here, this is a big green candle and then a doji candle. So it, there may be a reversal when it is formed at the top. So if we go here again to the other side, then the bullish candles, bullish pattern, bullish hammer candle, it is like large black body. It did, and then we got a small white body which will be contain, which will be within the range of the uh, black body opening and closing are within the opening and closing of this black body so this is considered as a bullish pattern 
So this bullish uh, Harami candle is a bullish pattern. And the, this one, which we discussed before, this this is the bearish Harami pattern, which will be which will lead you to the bearish to the bearish trend. So as the name suggests, the bearish pattern and the bullish pattern. The important thing here to note is, which we normally see in our trading patterns. On one day we saw okay, there's a large big candle, and we say okay, there was a thirty percent gain in this stock, and then everyone rushes. Okay, let's buy it in the next day, and the next day during the pre-market, okay, we let's assume some prices. It opened at let's say ten dollars and closed at like fourteen dollars, forty percent up, and the next day it opened at here instead of fourteen, it opened at twelve. So there is an indication now on the next day, maybe there is a selling pressure, the prices are going down. And from 12, it gave a closing of 11. So what does this mean? The last day, there was huge volume, there was some news or something, the people were like after the stock and next day, it start, has started going down. So now if it has started going down, this is the time for you to exit. So don't wait for the next day, okay, it has gone down, next day, maybe it will come up first thing you sell and next thing is don't buy it here on this day because whatever the thing or whatever the news was it has already been in cash so don't fall prey to it so that's why this candlestick pattern is important here and now the same goes here in a bullish there was a big black candle it has went down and the next day it has a closing here at ten dollars let's say and next day it opened up at eleven dollars and gave a closing at twelve so it may indicate Get, okay, now the, the bad news or whatever it was because of which it has fallen down or the indicators has cooled down, now it has started going up. So these patterns you need to keep in mind when you formulate your strategy. So this bullish Harami candle, the bearish Harami candle we discussed. Let's move on to the next one. Guys, any question here or any confusion in these two patterns before we move on to the next, next pattern? Okay, then we'll move uh, next. So the next one is a dark cloud candle. The dark cloud candle is very important and this is a bearish signal in an uptrend. So let's consider there is an uptrend, all green candles are being formed and a one candle is formed in a way that it was like opened with a gap. Like this is the op uh, opening price $10, closing price $14 and the next session it opened at a price of $15. Everyone was happy, okay, it was going up. In, in the pre-market also, it gained $1. So now from its opening price, it went a little bit higher and then it went down. Then it went down and even below the closing price of previous day. So it gave a closing which is less than the previous closing. So this is important here to consider. It opened at higher price with a gap, gap up opening and it closed at a price which is less than the closing price of the previous day. So it would be like a, maybe a red candle here. So the closing is less than the previous closing and the opening was higher. So we call it a dark cloud. So this is the dark cloud. This is covering the previous candle and previously there was an uptrend and uptrend we saw in a pre-market as well, but during the trading session, it gave a closing which is less than the closing of the previous pr price. So this is a dark cloud and this formed at the uptrend and this is known as a bearish reversal pattern in an uptrend. So whenever this cloud is formed, so this, this is the start of the bearish pattern here. So be mindful of that. And the next important thing here is bearish engulfing. Bearish engulfing, like there will be a small pattern, small white body here, and this will be completely engulfed by a black body, which means that the, the closing price here will be higher, Okay, the opening price will be higher here than the uh, than the closing price of the previous candle, and the uh, here the closing price also will be lower than the closing price or the opening price of the previous candle. So, so simply, this this will be white body will be small, and the large uh, black body will be large, and it will be large on the both ends, not on the one end. That it will cover this previous candle completely from the uh, upside as well and from the downside as well. So we call it as a bearish engulfing pattern. Why we call it engulfs? Because this bearish candle engulfs the previous small candle. So we call it engulfing bearish pattern and it is also uh, considered as a reversal signal which will be followed by a downtrend. 
and sim opposite to that bearish engulfing we have a bullish engulfing a black candle a red candle and then red candles engulfed by a big green candle completely engulfed from both side upside and downside so this is also a reversal signal reversal signal means previously there was a a, a downtrend here and then you saw this candle so it means that the pattern has been reversed and stock may start going up from the next trading sessions so now let's go back to our live charts and see these sort of patterns which we discussed like bearish engulfing the bullish engulfing and dark cloud and bullish ramming and the bearish ram patterns let's see if we can find out there so i'm going back to the tesla's tesla yep so in the Tesla, let's start finding out these things. Okay. If you see any other pattern, guys, do let me know. Okay, this one. This one here. This one. Guys, anyone can name it. This pattern. A red body or a black body followed by a big white body which engulfs is which engulfs yep just anyone a bullish trend yes this is an engulfing bullish engulfing yep this is a bullish in engulfing pattern and you see there after this candle there was an uptrend though it was it didn't last longer but if we look at the bigger time frame it went till here. It went down a little bit, but it still it was in green zone and it went till 369 after this pattern of 367, it went upwards. Okay, this one was a bullish engulfing pattern. And let's see if we can find out the bearish engulfing as well or the dark yeah. cloud. Dark cloud should be yeah. easier to find. Yeah, if you take to the left, yeah, the, yeah, that right. Kind of. Yeah, this one is a, is a dark, seems to be a dark cloud here. So there's an uptrend, we said, uh, in the dark cloud there should be an uptrend and after the uptrend the stock opens with a gap up opening it was a uh, tesla here closed on 367 and on the next day in the next session it opened at 368 gap up opening but then it gave a closing which was below 367.8 a little below 367.7 so it is a uh, it is called as dark cloud and a dark cloud formed an uptrend. See, there was an uptrend and you saw, okay, there's a dark, dark cloud form here. So now this is a reversal pattern and you saw this stock went down till 364. So this is, I think, some meaningful inference which we get from the dark cloud. So let's see something else. There's one more dark cloud at the left, the leftmost screen, uh, third red kind here. of. This one, yeah. This one you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, this is also dark cloud. This is more, more clear actually. Gap up opening and the closing, which is lower than the closing of the previous price and then stock started falling down. So this is like a, a dark cloud and it went down to 360. And then here this is, can we name this candle guys? Engulfing yep. bullish? Yes, engulfing bullish. Engulfing bullish candle and whenever there's a bullish candle, engulfing bullish, which engulfs the previous uh, red candle, the stock goes up and you saw stock made a high till this point. And at this point, you saw a dark cloud. So you already knew now the dark cloud has been formed, the stock will go down and it went down. <laughs> Getting it? I have just got one question. Yeah. See, uh, the one at uh, between seven forty-five and seven seventeen forty-five and seventeen fifteen, right? Yeah, that one. Yeah, towards the left. Yeah, that one. So the after the red one, you've got a green one. So is this en engulfing bearish or because ideally, it it started uh -huh. at, at a higher price, but the wick went up and it came down. So do we get, uh, take it as an en en engulfing bullish? Oh, sorry, bearish one. Okay. For. Uh... In order to call it engulfing, my first question is whether this green candle is in, is engulfing this? No, red candle? it's not. No, it's, no, no. Well, it's not engulfing. Pattern. It's smaller, yeah. So you cannot see from right to left. 
the stock is moving from this pattern here from left to right so okay. you need to see from this side so this one is the next next uh, next candle this is the previous candle you need to see the next candle is engulfing or not so if you okay. see the other way if you see the other way i think you saw the other way so this red candle is engulfing this candle so we are not moving backward we are moving this way oh got it got it yeah thanks for that okay so next candle should be an engulfing candle okay so dark cloud tai 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 can i just way. yeah sure can i just butt you for a minute yeah sure friends have a look at the at the chart how many what is the time frame it's a one minute chart yep right now see the beauty of the candles we just saw one thing at about at 1730 33 34 and engulfing very bullish engulfing 1731 32 33 33 1733 yeah this yeah, one yes, right bullish engulfing one minute chart 1733 what is the price you enter in at take the next red candle highest of the red, red candle you enter it at 361 362 yeah, all right let's take it 362 now the effect of the candles within one minute you entered at 362 and you're exiting at what price lowest of this of the candle lowest okay. of this candle not even this at this way 367 so 362 to 368 and how many minutes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 20 20 minutes 20 minutes 5 dollars 20 minutes and you have 5 dollars inside if you are working on a 1 minute candle so you need so that to is the power very, very that's the power of, of a candlestick yeah. that's the power of a candlestick exactly so this is one of the best tool that we have in technical analysis like apart from the indicators i haven't touched any indicator Right. although there are so yes. many indicators i'm just telling you in the live chart and this uh, is just with the with the one tool of candlestick pattern analysis so if we combine you if you combine with some other charts you will get even some more meaningful information but this one is truly purely 100% based on the candlestick and you can see the differences how the price is moving and how it is behaving to this candlestick pattern analysis And this is keep like one thing. Keep one thing in mind: the entire yeah. stock market in any part of the globe will only work on two parameters: price and volume. Exactly. Every other indicator, every other indicator is derived only from these two. So, if you can understand and read a price, you don't require any any indicator after that. So, try and devote more time in understanding how to read a price, and candlesticks will give you an art of how to read a price. Exactly. If you can read candlesticks, you don't require anything else. Yep. So I think we have discussed uh, some meaningful things here. So if you guys you have a question, do let us ask on the group, and we'll be happy to answer you. Now, guys, any question here regarding any of the candlestick pattern? We saw the bearish engulfing, bullish engulfing, and the dark cloud candle, and bearish harami and the bullish harami. We were not able to see it here. If I come across during our discussion i will let you know okay this is the pattern we were talking about okay uh, we can start discussing with few of the stocks and in the meanwhile whichever uh, candlestick pattern will come across we will try to name that and see how this candlestick pattern is behaving and what inference we are getting from it okay let's start with a few of the the remaining uh, stocks that we need to analyze as we you have something to share uh, yes i uh, look at uh, telus corporation Just alphabet T. Yep. Favorite of few of our guys in in the group. Okay, I will change it to one day. Okay, Telus Corporation. Here. It is currently at twenty three point seven three. Let me add some indicators here. Yeah, here we go. So, uh, this one. Yes, 
Okay, so this one, 23.73, this is currently, it has, seems it has taken its support at this level because this one we already, uh, we discussed that previously as well, and this was its support level. So uh, from this support line, it seems that it has taken a support and next day candle has been formed, which is in, which is a positive. And this positive candle has formed a green candle and it seems that it has started going up. So it may take a further upside resistance at 24 and then the next level may be like 24.6. So currently uh, it seems that it has started going up and a dividend was announced and after the dividend it has to go x dividend and uh, i think this this was the candle when it went x so it went down here the next day it has cooled off and started gaining momentum again and the volumes if we see the volumes are the, no, the normal there is no spike in the volume it's we got a normal volumes here rsi has started to move up if we draw a pattern here Okay, so it seems that RSI has also taken a support at this level. If we pull it back to see, to do some back testing. Yes, it follows that. Okay, it follows that here, here, here as well, at this point, this point, and then it has taken another uh, turn from this point, which follows this trend line, and it will has started going upside. And if I take it from here, so at this level so till this level of 60.9 the last time when it came to 60.9 what was the price so 60.9 60.9 this level we're talking somewhere about this level 24.45 it can be it can reach up to so that's what i see here now if i talk about the parabolic sar the parabolic sar has given uh, dots have formed upward and still there is a huge gap between between these gap between these uh, candlesticks so still we have a room for the stock to go up i think this has started its upward journey and you can see this you can hold this for like initially at 24.2 and then the next move will be 24.6 that's what i see here in this stock week yeah so got the volumes i see if the volumes are like consistent there's no like spike or downfall in the volume and the important thing which is here to note is like the support it has taken a support from this level and next day is a green candle which is a positive sign and rsi is also start, has started moving up these two are the po positive indications here now if we try to see the candlestick pattern let's see if has got some meaning attached to it uh i think that's a neutral pattern vivek do, no do just the previous uh, candle is a bearish engulfing yes yes previous candle is a bearish engulfing and now the second yeah, important thing is candle. the bearish engulfing candle whenever we we said that we have a bearish engulfing candle this will be a down trend that's what we said it's a continuous right? down trend yeah. but the other important thing is the bearish engulfing is normally formed in the uptrend, not in the downtrend. So yes. this is not an uptrend. So here, this is, there are a few things that we need to, we need to you know memorize and practice it very carefully. This is a bearish engulfing, but the problem here is this is not an uptrend. This is a downtrend. Already in the downtrend, yeah. Yeah, it's already in the downtrend. So you cannot say that now there will be a reversal. So after bearish engulfing, there will be another bearish. So it's already in the bearish pattern. And now uh, join this concept with the other concept of the support. So we also had a support at this level. So, Very true. They, so at this support level, now you have like two indicators here. One, you, the first one was not an indicator. I won't say that an indicator because this is not a bearish engulfing pattern because it is not a, an uptrend. And the second uh, important point here is the support. So it was at support level. If it, I was here at this at this day on 9th September, and I don't know what's going to happen in on 11th of September, I would simply say that there is a chance that uh, this stock can gain can take a support at this level because this is currently at its support level. And next day, I'm going to wait for this candle to be formed, which is like positively a green candle. So I will make my analysis that 
the stock may con- may uh, start going upward and it has a room uh, and the, the spare body side is also like the, these dots have a lot of difference between the candle and this this dot so i would say to hold on to it makes mm. sense yeah okay so let's move on to the next one guys uh, if you have some other stock uh, if you want to see that even if you are holding or not holding just feel free to ask and now in the remaining part of the session we are like uh, doing some stock analysis on those items that you want to be analyzed okay yeah. let's move on to the next one tahir can you look at igc it's a us stock IGC, yeah. Uh, you see, yeah. yeah. India globalization? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. This stock doesn't have any volumes. This is an illiquid stock. Are you holding this? Oh, yes. I bought it at around two something. Okay. If you bought it at around two, uh, maybe there was some news here. And you bought when the news started cooling off. Yeah, almost. Yeah. So uh, let's analyze these these types of stock. This analysis will remain the same for every type of stock, which are like not very liquid, and then they tend to move on some news. So guys, here this is a big green candle, okay, and then it has just ignore this upper wick. There's a huge upper wick. So normally it seems to be a dark cloud here. isn't it mm. this opened at higher price okay then closed at a price which is less than the previous price a little less not huge or almost the same so the news impact came here and then next day it made a high of 4.6 and started going down and gave a closing which was less than the closing of the previous uh, closing so hence formed a red candle and then it started going down 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 and currently it took a support here and then again taking a support so you got at around 2 so i would say next day it will like if you reaches around 2 like this high last time it made this high of 1.89 if it goes like this high uh, just come out of this trade you will have a minimal loss but just bear it before it goes back here to again to below 1 it might not go below 1 because sometimes there is a strategy like stocks which are trading below 1 they are at the risk of being delisted so they tend to make some these sort of stances like they bring in some news or something or some maybe a real one as well and the stock goes up and then when it goes down normally it stays above 1 dollar so currently like last time also it came here at 1.1 then move up and went up to 1.8 then again it has came down to this level now it, it has a tendency again to move up again to this level 1.4 but during the day it can have some spike so if you are like close enough to your buying price just get out of it and for the news all the news doing stocks just do a day trade in that or maximum till the next day don't do that it depends upon how powerful the news is if the news is very powerful it may last like for two days or three days maximum that's saying a maximum for the big giants like like tesla like apple facebook air canada like these sort of companies if they have some news maybe they can last last for more than a day two days let's say but uh, for small companies we don't have much capitalization or we don't have a much liquid stocks it is just one day game see here one day game next day all these guys who bought it here they sold it off and realized their profits and some other guys who who were not maybe aware of the few that information or something they just got trapped in and after this the imagine someone ha- has bought this at 4.54 it made a high of course someone has bought this at 4.5 i don't know when it going to go back to 4.5 and now well, maybe he has already sold it off so now it's not go it doesn't seem by looking at this technical chart that it can in the near future it will go back to this level of 3.5 but uh, i would say just either, either sell half of it if you don't want to lose much money if you it if it gets closer to your buying price you must liquidate like at least 50% of that so that would i would recommend here 
best it's your call you can see how the stock is behaving and currently it's in downtrend it can go last time it went at the 38 the rsi went down till a level of 38 and even at below these levels so it has a tendency to test like below 30. so now it is in a downtrend here See, if it breaks this level at which it is currently at, then you can see it will start going down. If in the next day it takes a turn, because here this price is also at support level and RSI is also taking a support from here. So next day will be important. It will, it, it has a capacity or it, days, uh, it seems or it's likely it can go, uh, it can take a rebound from here. But how long the rebound will be, that is like out of question. We don't know. And if you took out the vol look at the volume here on this candle, this green candle. When this green candle formed, maybe like most of the people have exited it. Those who got it here, they got a chance on this day and they exit this. That's why the volume was high. And now the, then again, the volumes were low. So watch closely to this stock in, for the coming sessions. Right? Ideally, you should keep a limit order and uh, figure out what it at about 1.85 mm -hmm. or 1.90 mm -hmm. and keep your fingers crossed. Yep. Or like maybe during the day, if you are closing, uh, watching very closely, uh, you're like near to the screen, just watch out how it is going. If you can get a little higher price than that, if you can, but still like don't be greedy. If you're getting close enough to the buying price, accept the loss and go back sure thanks for this time no problem man yes guys next one if nobody is george yes sir yes which talk guys somebody was saying something yeah, no, no, Vivek, sir, you go ahead i'll, I'll go next no, you go, go. I, I i am just here uh, Retesting my my levels. You can ask your query. Okay, I, I'm I'm even looking at S E S N. I bought this S -S -S at one point zero nine. Yeah, and it's just hovering around this. Okay, one point zero nine. You bought it here. Okay. I want to very close. Yeah, that's close. So, very close. Is, yeah. So this is a support level here. Okay, so currently this is at support, and you see this seems to be very strong support. One time, two, three times, four times, it started going down, and it touched this level and rebounded from here. Three, four times. So this is closing enough here, and it can go up. So you hold on to it. You can get like one easily. You can get up to this level one point one. And then, as soon as this 1.1 oh, 1 .1 is reached, you will be yeah, you will be like 1.1 here. You will be like positive, and then you have here 1.18 or two. So, I think you you are safer here. No need to worry on no need to worry on this. Just hold hold on to it, so you can you can get a good outcome here. So, if we talk about some more points here. The RSI also is climbing. Yep, RSI is like, uh, I'll get back to RSI now. Then. Even the previous trend is climbing. Yes. Let's do some back testing here. So you see this stock here, it is taking support, and then this is, might be a resistance level here. So yeah, I think you're, you're safe here. RSI is like above 50, which is considered an uptrend. It seems you you are you are safe here. And now the other thing is the parabolic SAR. This important point here is if you recall from our previous discussions, this parabolic SAR, these dots, these are now very close to this uh, to the candles. So it, uh, and now at this point of time, they are representing a sell signal. Now, as soon as we move forward in our next sessions, it is likely that these dots will start forming down, like here. Like here, when they start forming down, when they start forming down, this is the buy signal, 
And most of the guys, when they look, okay, now this is the buy signal, they will come in to trade and start, they will make the stock move up. This is also another positive thing here for this stock. So the next few sessions here, the stock will start uh, going up and uh, these dots, parabolic star dots, they will start forming down. Why I'm saying this? Because the gap between these dots and the candles are now very less. If you see here, they were dot forming up, 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 and the point where the gap was very minimal, the dot shifted downwards. And when the dot shift downwards here, so it is start, it, this is a buy signal and a start of the uptrend as well. And you see here, it was an uptrend here. And now again here, there's a downtrend here, and then in the downtrend, similar to this downtrend, we have a downtrend here, I'm taking from here to here. Okay, so this is a downtrend here, and this is a downtrend, these dots are now very close to this candle, and at any time, the dots can shift downward and will take the stock upwards. So you, you are safer here. Just hold on to it, All right? Can you take a weekly chart for the same thing? If, okay. if there's if a, a bigger, bigger target? Okay, let's look at the weekly. In the weekly, yes. it's the fault. Yeah, they're saying it's still a buy. It's still yes, a it's good still buy. It's still a buy and it gives you a bigger target also. Frame. Yeah, in it the longer time frame. Too. Yeah, in the longer time frame, it is a good buy here. Uh, 1.4 is, is your target and that in the long run. So that's another good thing to look at this stock. And the volumes in this week are a little less, but in the coming week, let's see. And this the candle here, this is a dodgy candle. So maybe a reversal. Yeah. Two, Two dodges may be still a, a, a reversal sign. Reversal in, in this issue. So this should be a positive one. And Tahir, now, yes. now look at the RSI between May and September. Yes. April and September. RSI in uptrend. RSI is in uptrend. Absolute up uptrend. Okay. So even the weekly targets are, are going up. Yes. So weekly target, it is like showing a little downside here, which is like bearish to neutral, yeah, I would say. Yeah, ready to exactly. So it's cooled down here and then again, it will take back its turn. I would look at a target of 1.4 comfortably. 1.4, yeah. 1.45, even 5. Yeah, it will take some. Yeah, it will take some time here to yeah. 1.4. This weekly, it will go into weeks. Yeah, it this will is going week. to multiple weeks, but yes, two we two months like we are talking about here. Yes, easily. But if you see this, you are getting good uh, return at 1.2. Sell it and buy it back again at the lower levels. <laughs> yes, why not? Yeah, yeah why to wait for two months? Point two, yeah. Yeah, because at this point of time, yeah, at this point of time, I won't recommend any stock for like two months or three months because US elections are ahead. So you don't know how the market will move. And we have already started getting, looking at like red days as well. So don't go for like uh, huge targets. Go for the minimal targets, keep the stock for a few days, realize the profit and get out for that. So don't go for like, unless like you are holding some big stock like Tesla, Apple, Facebook, these sort of stocks. Okay, you can say uh, even if it is down, it will revert back. But few stocks may take a little longer than expected. So these days, strategy should be like uh, just hit and run strategy. Okay, yeah, can we, are we good to move on to the next one? Yes, thanks for this. Uh, no yeah. problem. If no one has anything, I've got two more, if that's okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, come on, go ahead. Can we look at IMMP as well? IMMP, imputed. From where you guys bring this sort of shares? I, 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 so basically I was just doing the video and it's been like yeah. two weeks that I've bought this. The problem is for the past two weeks I couldn't trade because uh, of, of personal reasons. So, so that is the reason I just get where we are at the moment. So I bought this at, I would mm -hmm. say IMMP, I bought it at around 1.58 something. Yeah, as you are uh, already in positive. And RSI here is still got some room. Yeah, RSI already it's like going towards oversold and shown a little bit neutral sign here, but still it is positive. 
it has got a room a little room by the way okay let's start looking at this uh, indicators the number one parabolics are started forming downward so this is the buy trend here so one positive sign to buy and then if you look at the rsi rsi has got some space till 77 but it won't go above 77 it doesn't have any history here look at look at the some back testing so here that was like 80 and when it was in 2008 2018 so way far here also 70 72 70, here 81 73 so it is like almost reach its top so maximum will be like few more uh, decimals here and if you go, uh, go and look at the candlestick pattern the candlestick pattern is a downside price rejection the downside price rejection means still there is some space here and this stock can go up and it is already in uptrend parabolic star has generated a buy signal and uh, i can see the positive vibe here it can go up on the daily chart pattern let's go and look on the weekly on the weekly side also the same same analysis rsi is positive going upward and here we got a uh, green big green candle which is a positive sign again so you are like positive here in this stock on the weekly time frame as well and on the daily time frame as well let's go back to the daily and see the levels so this levels will be like as I said there's not much space left here and you need to exit at the right time not 190 one here somewhere here somewhere here so this will be a good point if you talk about this 190 we normally do not take this point because the I, stock yeah. gave a closing at this level so closing points are very important so this one maybe at one point of time in any second it went touch this level and then it went back again to its normal level so closing points are important rather than the wicks always uh, you know make your decision based on the closing mm -hmm. levels so 1.67 so as i said like here rsi has reached to to its almost the top so little space left here little space left overboard here overbought position so, yeah or it's uh, and now entering an overbought and here this is downside price rejection but still like few space left here a small space the so 1.67 should be a target and then you get uh, you take exit not exactly 1.67 maybe like 1.65 i would say it maybe like you said 1.67 and it touched 1.6 and, and started falling down so you didn't get a chance to exit the so 1.6566 can be a best bet here thanks for this and i think i have one last one yep yep uh, which would be a TRVN. TRVN? Yeah. Okay. Okay, TRVN. It has a sell signal here. Volumes are low. RSI is like below 50. Seems a downtrend in RSI. And the volumes are a little low. Uh, volumes are extremely low here. Don't pick these talks too often and the, the volumes are very less look at the volumes volumes are like very minimal and here when it spiked the volumes are higher maybe the because of earning news earnings is negative okay now let's see this candle this candle is like we are in a downtrend so inverted hammer candle then a dodgy candle so let's see uh, normally these sort of stocks are difficult to analyze because they don't tend to follow any set pattern direction because of the illiquidity so what i can say that currently this is in a downtrend looking at this rsi but this is less than 50 still it has not yet correctly established its trend but there is a hope that if it crosses 50 then it's positive for this stock let me draw a trend line here Okay, yeah, yeah. 
So if it crosses the level of 50, which is like very near, if it crosses that, just uh, it will come in the positive range and uptrend range. And here, if we talk about this support levels, support is here, which seems that it has already taken its, its support. And that's here, it started going up. And now the resistance that it's gonna face will be somewhere at this point where it stood before as well, before falling down. So that can be that can be resistance at 2.2. And currently, still we have like a cell signal generated by the parabolic star. In the next sessions, if it behaves well, moves positive, then it has a good chance to reach towards 2.2, but it may take some time. You may see like still like this one if we take this level this also seems to be a little resistance at 1.8 a short term resistance if it breaks this resistance of 1.8 then you will see the stock to it has a tendency to move up so this is the first resistance of 1.8 if this is broken now see if this is broken it will go up and at the same time the rsi will go up above 50 and then you will see this at uh, somewhere around 2.2 and I hope the volumes uh, doesn't fall below this this uh, uh, this limit, of, which which it is currently trading at. Previously, if you look at here, the volumes are extremely low, and it went above during these few days, and then it is relatively higher here the volumes as compared to the past and before before COVID in Feb, March, and April. Let's see how this behaves, but it doesn't look very, very, very promising because of the low volumes here. I would say, yes, if you do, you want to add anything here? No, I think you're right. Yeah, depending upon, upon his purchase price, he should move out at the earliest. Uh, if it was at 2.2, my purchase price, so I think, oh god, yeah, but, but no, I, I, I didn't okay. invest much to be honest, so I, I, I bought it for just around 200 of them. So to be okay, honest. so you don't have like much volume here. So you can, if you have like very low volumes, so just keep it. Keep it somewhere. If it reaches near, if it breaks this level of 1.8 and it will get closer to your price and sell it around this resistance level, even a little below the resistance level, just get rid of it and cash it. Yeah, thanks for this time. Thank you. No problem, man. Yep. So guys, uh, we have like eight more minutes remaining. We can pick like two more stocks for the day and rest we'll uh, discuss that in the group. Anyone? Uh, let's check Western George. Or you want to take up uh, SU? Western George, Digital Corp. Maybe it's Western George. Western India, Western George, yeah, WN. Okay, the Western charge here seems to be interesting. It's generated a buy signal by Parabolic SAR and seems that it has taken a support at previous, previous support was at 95. And it went down a little below the support, but again, back to its normal. So let's see the targets for this. RSI. RSI is in an uptrend here. Okay, and then RSI is an uptrend. Parabolic SAR is also generating a buy signal, which is a leading indicator, which is good. Volumes are consistent here. And the candles. Candles are although neutral. Let's talk about the resistance level. You'll see the resistance at this level. This can be this one. Okay, this and then the next one is this. Yep. 99 can be a, can be a target for this immediate target on the daily basis because rest all of the things are like positive indicating an uptrend so this can be a first target at 96 and then second target at this level of 102 
somewhere between 102 to 101, 102. And this can be a second target here, one time, two times, three, four times here, and then this can be a second. And the ultimate target here would be 106. So let's apply something else. Fibonacci, what Fibonacci has to say. So let's see how Fibonacci gives us the support and resistance. So as per Fibonacci, 98 is the first resistance level, which is like almost similar to what we have identified. 98.76 and we were saying like 99, the same level. And then 101 and 10, uh, yeah, we had 102 and Fib ratio gave us the 10, 1 1.78 as well. So the same levels. So yeah, we have a first target of 99 and second target of 102 and then ultimate target of 10, I can't read it. 106. 107, 106, yeah. 106 here. So uh, yeah, this is positive. You can, if you want to buy this stock, you can enter at this point because this is currently at its support level and the resistance, we have an upside uh, gap here. So the downside is very little because this is a support level and we have the upside. So this to reward ratio here is positive and it can be a good pick. So this, this sort of stocks, which are like, we have, I would say, not a penny stocks. Normally, we consider less than five dollars, ten dollars a penny stock. So these stocks like tend to behave very quickly, even if they fall down, and then they, they will recover. They have a tendency to cover, and you will see the volumes here. Unlike the, those stocks, especially which are like below one dollar, they are like a little bit risky. I would say. Yes, I think. Uh, yes, we. Uh, anything? Any other stock? Ah. I'm already into Western, so that I've already picked up. Picked it up. Mm -hmm. Look at SU. S -I S -I SU or TRP. Or either one of them. Okay, let's look I'm at looking at SU to buy at around uh, 1650. And Six TRP to buy around 59. 1650 here at this level. 14. Yeah. And let me increase it. Currently is at 18. So 1650. Uh, 1650 would be the, yeah. Okay. Currently 18 and here can be, yes. Yeah. Here and then. Stop of 15 this or 14. One, ah. yeah, it won't fall below because this, this is, uh, for all the energy store, this is, uh, I would say, a good time to start buying on dips. Because this, uh, crude oil is relatively lower these days, and the time it will regain, these stocks will always go up. So 1650, yes, yeah, this is a good entry point here. But uh, also, uh, we, uh, I would say we need to have a closer look on the crude oil in the market. So crude oil this way is like this is 37. So if you see it's go started going up, maybe like you can take 20% of your budgeted quantity here. And then yeah. rest, if it goes down, you can start accumulating on depths. So even if at this, yeah, even if at 1650 level, you don't know, maybe it, go, it will go further down. So you can take like maybe 50% here and then uh, you will take 50% at the at some other levels. Yeah, yeah. So that can be a good strategy to buy here. And this goes, guys, this goes for all the energy stocks. All the energy stocks keep a close look on the crude oil in the market. And it seems, it seems to be a lower level. and can be a good entry point, but don't uh, buy all your stocks at one price. You can do like 20% and then 25% or something like that in three in three different buyings or like in, at least at least two different buyings. So that that could be a good uh, a good trading pad, good trading mm -hmm. style here. So here, this is a, a good thing, and then you can hold on to it easily till like 22. Was 22 was the price where this stock stood for many, many, many times. Around 22 here. So this can be 21, 22 can be a good point to. Yes, here. This can be first one, 20. Yeah. This is a range here, 20 and then 21. So this can be a good good price to, to initial price, but if you want, still want to hold it, 
it will go easily till 24 25 24 25 yes if, if you want to hold it if the stock sustains above 40 then you will see 24 dollars coming into some core energy it has a tendency to go to that level if the crude oil sustains remains above 40 dollars 24 dollars should be a, a reasonable price okay guys we are like about to finish our session just last one minute remaining thank you so, yeah, no problem guys uh, thank you very much for joining uh, us thank and you everyone. thank you yeah. if you have questions just uh, post it on the group and we'll be happy to answer that okay guys thank you very much enjoy your weekend and see you Take care, thank, thank you, you. Yeah. thank you bye bye thanks everyone have bye. a nice bye, bye.